at Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee. And today I'm back with day seven of Scrap Timber 2023, hosted by the Scrappy Sisters and Laura Alberts. Um, today's prompt is long title. Um, uh, I won't say that it's hard. I don't think it's super easy, but um, I'm making it work. So, um, my additional challenge to myself for the month was to use a swap piece on every layout. So, so far so good. Um, I am using up um, this film strip, or I think I'm going to use it. I'm not quite set on that yet. Um, and I got it from... I think my long distance bestie sent it to me. I have these that she sent me. And I have these from the um, alphabet number swap to like use up your alphabets. And Miss Mallory made these um, stars. And then I just took a pull the sheet of paper from my stash. And it is um, some really old paper. I was trying to see if I could find the strip. Let's see. Okay. It's My Mom's Eye from 2008. So, yay. Like, that's using up some really old stuff. Okay. So, I have pictures of my um, grandbabies here. Um, pretty much them riding on their little um, race car power wheels. I have some stickers. I want to say these probably came from the Dollar Tree at some point, but they're like 3D um, plastic stickers. And I just cut out some squares from um, my Cricut and I cut out my title. And my title says, if you ain't first, you're last, which is from one of my, probably one of my most favorite movies, Talladega Nights. Um, with Ricky Bobby, and um, if I'm being a little bit honest, I'm a speeder, y'all. <laughs> I like to go fast. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I'm a good driver. I just like to go fast, and um, the ticket that I got that was almost $600 testifies to that. <laughs> Coming back home from vacation um, a couple years ago. So, yeah. I've tried to do better and slow down, especially since I'm getting teenagers now. Um, and, you know, you have to lead by example, but I don't know, y'all. I just, it's a problem. <laughs> Okay, so my idea was, uh, I'm not using a sketch or anything, I just popped this up, I picked my pictures and um, went from there to figure out a title and um, pulled some embellishments, but I thought I would do like a checker pattern down this side of the page with these squares. So, I'm just going to glue these on. And I feel like this is just an easy way to use basic shapes to get a big impact on your page without having to use, because y'all know me, I like to use my, um, oh, my mind's blanking out today. My pattern paper, y'all. <laughs> y'all know what I meant, right? So, um, we're just gluing these down and making it look like a flag. This is all cut from scrap, so this one has a big gash in it, but it'll be okay because it'll it'll probably be end up covered up anyhow. So I need to refill my glue. It's starting to get empty again. I use a lot of glue, y'all. <laughs> I do like to, I used to use more tape than glue, but since I've started filming, I like to do glue because it's faster than trying to peel the back off and, you know, all that. 
of the tape so it's okay they both work okay so now look at that like boom like a huge impact okay so then my next thing was because since their cards were red and blue hopefully y'all can see and it's not out of frame um since their cards were red and blue i wanted to bring like the red and blue elements in so she sent me these and i thought about adding them here um and not worry about the center because this is the only colors she sent me i mean she sent me other colors but that was all of these blue ones <laughs> um but the center is going to be covered up anyway so you know nobody won't know unless you tell them that it doesn't go all the way down and i thought about but i didn't do it i thought about using a piece of washi tape and just going down it to kind of create you know that line of border um kind of so it just looked more finished but then i ended up doing this but this reminded me of you know like the peeling tires and you know and you know blowing up the smoke of course they wasn't doing that on their power wheels but you know y'all know what i'm saying right <laughs> okay so then I'm just going to put my pictures down. I think I kind of want to go like that. Okay. Glue this one. Glue this one. Okay. And then I cut this out of my Cricut. And it cut out each one of these little white pieces individually. So then you had to figure out how to glue them in. And I don't know if y'all can tell. But I jacked it up when I first started it. But it's okay. Because it's my page. And it ain't a big deal to me. But yeah. There's that. You know. Sometimes you see something on Cricut. And it looks great. And then you go and cut it out. And look like oh wow. What was I thinking? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to add these flags in here. Uh, I don't like that, though. I don't like having to cover up this little... Uh-oh, I tore it up, y'all. I got the tape on it. Dang it. Okay, let's see if I can reposition this. Okay, hopefully this thing still turns so that y'all can see it, because I definitely can't see. Um, I'm going to tilt this just a little bit, um, so that I can still see the little bit of the border. And then what I wanted to do was, I was thinking about putting this here. Well, I've got this in the way. But... Because I want my title to run out through here. Since it has to be a long title. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to do it like that. I'll just add a little bit of glue right here. Just to hold it down. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on these. To get them down. Oh man. It's going over her face. Okay. It'll be okay. It's just a little bit. We can still see the rest of the picture and what's going on. So, okay. So then these, I thought I would just put them in like this. So that it kind of looks like, you know, it's coming out of the frame. Or that was my thoughts behind it. I don't know if these are going to stick. They might. Dollar Tree stuff isn't always the greatest at sticking. Okay. Okay. Are sticking them are sticking pretty good y'all okay these i thought i would just work in it looks like i got some glue on there uh, okay we'll cover it up i thought i would just work kind of work these in maybe as decoration um just to give it a little something else over here like i felt like it was lacking and i like these stars a lot Okay, I think I'm going to do it like that. 
I did put these on foam tape. Wasn't this a neat idea, y'all? Um, we did a swap over there on Ginger's Corner of using up the alphabets. And this was a good idea. Just put all your stickers on there and then die cut it out. It's kind of what I did, too. Um, okay, let's work on the title. Um, I'm going to lay it out first so I can see how I want it to fit. Let's see. If you paint. I know, y'all. For all y'all big English people, ain't ain't a word. <laughs> but it is in the South. Um, okay. If you ain't first. Okay. Is that right? I don't know. My S looks weird. Okay. If you ain't first, you're last. Okay. Mm. I kind of like it, but I feel like I need... I don't know. I feel like I need something else there. Okay, let me glue this down. I think it'll be okay. Apparently, what we need to have is a racing swap. Because <laughs> I went through a lot of my swap stuff and did not see anything in there related to racing or flags or anything like that. And... So, yeah, I think we need a racing swap. Um, okay, here's one of these. I don't even know if this goes to this, but it's going to it now. <laughs> um, I need to glue this one. so quiet here y'all do y'all hear that nothing <laughs> my husband is at work and my kids are at school and it's just so quiet today it's so nice I love my kids and my husband y'all but like I need a break I like having my my days of silence and I know one day I'm gonna miss it when they're grown and moved out and you know and I know I'll wish for the days whenever they're fighting like cats and dogs. But right now is not that day. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put my apostrophe in here. Okay. If you ain't first, you're last. We say this a lot in, in our house. <laughs> Related, relating to everything. Not just racing, but everything. If you ain't first, you're last. When the kids talk about stuff at school, well, was you first? No. Well, you lost. Because <laughs> if you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> The famous words of Ricky Bobby. Okay. I like that pretty good. Um, I'll probably write in um, the year. Because this is pretty explanatory what's going on. I don't know. The only other thing I might do is I might take a black pen and just do some line work right here. Just to, I don't know, give it something. I don't know yet. I might even do a white and black pen and do this side. But I don't know if I would like it. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Okay, you'll see in the close-ups at the end what I did different. 
because I will take a picture and put it at the end. Um, check out the link below for the Scrap Timber playlist of everyone else who's playing along. And y'all, go scrapbook. Like, use these prompts. It's fun to think outside the box and pull stuff out. So, until tomorrow. Bye, y'all.